Sabu. He came, he did take a lot of pain in his career. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy guy. Yeah. Nice guy. Nice guy, yeah. Was that the first time you went through a table, uh, the Sabu match on wherever it was, Nitro? I'm actually not sure. I, I could be, yeah. Mm. But um, I just recall that the, nobody wanted to work with him because they were all afraid of his working style. And they said, okay, Alex, you have to work him. And I said, oh, no problem. I mean, he I had a good match, with, a few good matches with him. He was a very nice guy. And Mark Mero, and we've talked about him before already. Yeah, great friend of mine. Mm. Unbelievable uh, athlete, un unbelievable uh, motivation. I mean, really great, great guy. Alex Luger. Um, unbelievable body. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Chris Canyon. I've never asked anyone about Chris Canyon before. Also a very nice guy. I traveled uh, on a few occasions with him. Um, hard worker. Good worker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sid. Um, loose cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Did uh, do anything in particular come to mind when, when I say Sid? Any particular incident? He's very passionate about the sport, I guess. I mean, mm. really passionate. So yeah. anything he does, he just goes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris Benoit. It's very sad ending. Mm. Did you ever wrestle? I think you wrestled Chris, didn't you? One I, wrestled, one. I, I, I knew Chris from CWA. He wrestled many years in the CWA. Mm. So I, met, I, I knew him when I was that old. And when I was in the States, I traveled with him and with Eddie and Dean a lot of times. Uh, he always was a quiet uh, and really nice guy, friendly guy. But I don't know what happened to him that he switched around like that and did something unbelievable and horrifying like that. Yeah. Um, the first person I think you probably were paired up on the road with in WCW for a long time was Bobby Eaton. Unbelievable worker. Very, very nice guy. Um, very friendly to rookies. Helped me out a lot. And he was actually the first guy I wrestled on the road with. Mm. I've always heard that he uh, had like a massive duffel bag that he'd carry everywhere. And he always had every single thing anyone could possibly need in it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you always helped out somebody. Yeah. What was the weirdest thing he carried with him? The weirdest thing? Oh, my God. I think the duffel bag by itself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll move on then. Uh, we've asked about him already, so I'll say Norman Smiley. The wiggle. The big wiggle, yeah. 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 Um, actually, the performance trainer also, you know, mm -hmm. um, also a nice guy. I mean, you said it before. I, I mean, there were a lot of nice guys. And uh, I got along with almost everybody there. So, Raven. Great mind for the business. Very creative. Did you ever travel with Raven? Uh, some occasions, mm. yes. Uh, is there anybody who talks more than Raven? Disco. Disco. Very good. <laughs> Disco you know, talks a lot. <laughs> I'll bring up Disco. Disco Inferno. Um, also, great guy, funny guy. Uh, traveled many, many times with him on the road. A lot of great memories. Mm. When did he start bringing the big rubber duck to the uh, to the matches? I don't know. I mean, you never knew what's coming up next with Disco. I mean, he's he was <laughs> like I said, sometimes over the edge. You know, you had to <laughs> hold him a little bit back. <laughs> uh, Disco is also famous for coming up with some of maybe the worst characters that never made it to TV ever. Like the most famous one is. Bill Ding, the evil architect. And I also, never... uh, have you never heard that one? No, no. Uh, and I think also he may have wanted to book Mike Tanay, the announcer, as an alien and reveal that they're all aliens. <laughs> That's what I meant, you know. This was <laughs> unbelie unbelievable creative. <laughs> uh, I'll give you this next one then. And for my money, the best cruiserweight in WCW, sorry, uh, uh, current, uh, current company excluded, Ultimo Dragon. Mm, actually, uh, I would have guessed you would say Ray Mysterio now. <laughs> yeah, every, yeah, but like as a kid, Ultimo Dragon was my man. Oh, okay. 
Um, also, unbelievable wrestler, unbelievable uh, athletes, um, but very heavy to lift. <laughs> but, but that small guy, you know, mm. very heavy. Is it because his he had dense bones or he just didn't want to go up? No, it's, it's just a, sometimes the Japanese style, you know. Mm. They don't go with you like in the American style. You really have to lift them. Uh, the Steiner brothers. Unbelievable, powerful. Really powerful. Yeah. Next name is Bobby Heenan. Well, uh, he had really funny stuff to say about me in the commentating. <laughs> <laughs> he was a great heel commentator, yeah. Mm. Was he a heel with you as well, or did you see no, the funny no. side? No, such a nice guy. <laughs> really nice guy. Okay, we'll do a few more. Vampiro. I love the storyline which I had with him. Mm. The working against him and all. I, I liked his gimmick because I, he was like the modern vampire, you know, the, and I was like the old fashioned vampire. So I, I always hope that they bring us together as a tag team. I will, really would enjoy that. And he, he could work really good. I mean, he had a hard time coming in in WCW and I never understood why, but he, uh, nice guy. <laughs> More good matches with him. I, I, I had an unbelievable match in Hamburg, Germany against him. I mean, the crowd, the, we, the crowd was so into it that after our match, they were silent. After <laughs> they, were, they were so exhausted, and which gave us uh, one side. The office was happy. On the other side, we got a lot of heat from the guys who worked the matches after us. Did you win? You must have won. I'm not sure because I was Berlin at the time and Berlin was the, the bad guy. I'll, I'll see if I can look it up for you. Uh, who else am I going to ask? Oh, yeah, one thing about Vampiro is, is it true that he didn't know how to bump until he got to WCW because he was used to the Mexican rolling style for so many years? Um, I, I couldn't recall. I, and, and every time I wrestled him and every time I saw him working a match, even when he started in WCW, he could bump. I just, I think that's a rumor. Yeah. Uh, Ernest the Cat Miller. Um, Ernest. I, what can I say about it? I got along very good with him. He, he's a great karate guy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I enjoyed him in, in, in the movie The Wrestler. <laughs> and uh, matches, uh, he, he was definitely entertaining. Mm. You know? Okay. Uh, Steve McMichael. Very humble guy. Very, very down to earth. Uh, I mean, he was a big football star, and uh, he had actually his storyline against me also. His first storyline, mm -hmm. and um, you should guess a big football star like him. He would say, uh, "I don't care. I have a lot of money. I don't care about that. I, you know, just do my stuff." But he actually wanted to learn and wanted to really do good. So I can't say anything bad about him. No, uh, he was hard to wrangle in the ring, wasn't he? Yeah, because he was so he was, inexperienced. Yeah, he, I mean, he, he he was a great football player, but he 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 hadn't that much talent as a wrestler. Yeah. How you would know? you? I mean, if, if he if he would have trained more and if he had the chance to train more, I think yes. But they just threw him out there and he had to perform. You know. Yeah. How would you, as a, a probably more of a veteran by this point, how would you work around Steve best? Just keep it easy, simple. You know, no, no fancy stuff. No, to, not not too uh, long high spots or anything like that. Did you know that he was going through a divorce at the time with Deborah in real life, or were you not aware of that at the time? I think that was shortly after that. Yeah. Oh, was it shortly after? Uh, okay, I've only got a few more, and then I will I will leave you alone. I promise. That's uh, okay. That's okay. <laughs> Jody Hamilton. The owner or the head trainer of the power plant. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was a big star back in the day. I think 
is that assassin or something like that yeah it was called but that i i didn't i really don't know that much about him so i can't say anything okay nick patrick the referee son, yeah he's yeah. some great referee great guy virgil virgil um also i mean nice guy but in my opinion uh he um his, his wrestling abilities weren't that much like others had mm. the talent for it a but i mean he definitely deserved to be in the sport because he he did a great job in the ring and it's not only about wrestling it's about the whole package you know scott norton a powerful man and also a very nice guy i mean i met him in new japan also the first time and uh yeah, I mean, big star over there, really big star, mm. and I mean, really a huge man, <laughs> very impressive. <laughs> He's a terrifying man. Is he the strongest yeah. guy you ever wrestled? Who was the strongest? Well, I I really can't recall how how strong anybody is because you work together. You know, if 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 it would have been a shoot, then I would could say oh this guy was very strong or that guy but uh, of course he he just lifted me like this you know <laughs> <laughs> vince russo and ed ferrara um in my opinion i, I pointed out in my opinion uh, vince russo is the reason why wcw does not exist anymore uh ed ferrara was very great mind uh I think Vince Russo also had a great mind, but I, I'm. It didn't fit for the pro, the WCW product. We had a different fan base. We had a different product. Uh, we have different selling points, unique selling points, and uh, Vince Russo wanted to change it to a WWE pro, uh, product, and that didn't work. So, so who was the best booker then in your mind, Kevin Sullivan? Who, who did you think was consistently always always had your back, creatively speaking? I would say Flair. Hmm? Definitely. In my, in my opinion. But uh, um, that's maybe just because he brought me in. So, <laughs> so, so, you know.